So others have suggested that the pause has a chilling effect, to use Senator Dane's terms. Um, I certainly believe that. I would uh, ask you to, I've got, a, I've got 18 letters, Mr. Chairman, that I'm going to submit for the record, 18 statements of support for a particular project within the NPRA. You're probably well aware of the Willow Project. This is, this is a project that has been under review for multiple administrations, beginning within the uh, Obama administration, has gone through a process that most would consider, can consider to be extraordinarily um, extensive. It has the support not only from the native people, the Inupiaq people of the North Slope, uh, but from our unions, from Alaska's shipping and, and maritime industries. The list is pretty extensive. And they, when you look through some of these letters, and it is because of not only the resource that it promises, but some 2,000 construction jobs, about 75% of them would be well-paying union jobs, uh, $2.3 billion, excuse me, in revenue for the state, $7.6 billion in federal royalties, uh, not insignificant. Today in Energy notes that oil production in Alaska reaches lowest level in more than 40 years. Uh, what we're producing now, um, I had an opportunity to speak on the floor last week, but Russia is, is providing more oil to this country than Alaska is currently. Um, I've suggested that that's not a trajectory that I want to go down. One of the things that is really quite concerning to me, though, as I read these letters, is the, the fact that the Native people who live and work and raise their families in this region uh, feel that they have not had an opportunity to be heard on this, that this decision for this review and this pause uh, was made without consultation. So a direct question to you is, prior to this pause and the halt, effectively, of the Willow Project and the other ongoing projects within uh, the area, did the department consult with Alaska Native representatives in these areas that are closest in, in uh, proximity to the land and the projects where these decisions are going to be impacted. Thank you, Senator. I, I appreciate the question and understand the importance of this industry to Alaska and, and your concerns for this. Um, President Biden issued the executive order. Since the issuance of the executive order, we have been consulting with tribes, uh, including this week, in depth. So you, you are saying that you are conducting consultation with the tribes now, but you're doing this after you have halted or paused the review. Is that correct? The executive order was issued in January, right. and we're engaging in consultation now. So, we have not halted permitting, um, but we have halted. We do have a pause on leasing. Well, you have a pause on leasing. The Willow pause has been in place now for 100 days. I had an opportunity to speak directly with Secretary Holland about what a pause means on any kind of activity when you're operating in the North Slope. For my colleagues, whether you're in Montana or Wyoming or Oklahoma, your reality is you can put it on a pause and you're going to be okay. In Alaska, our season is, is limited to several months. You know that, you understand that. This is a concern and a consideration that, again, is extraordinarily concerning. 